Today's video has been 100% inspired by a guy over the pond in the States called Jimmy Porter of Stuart Arts. I've been following Jimmy for quite a while now and he did a video, uh, sort of an update video, on making a shop made branding iron to brand your work with your initials or a date or whatever. And um, I was really taken by this and I thought, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. So I contacted Jimmy and asked him if he minded if I did my own take on that um, as he inspired me to have a go myself and he so, gave me um, further okay. ado, oh, one, one further thing, um, I received a sticker here from Holly Denny and the sticker thing has, has really sort of quietened off as you'd expect it to do. Um, thanks very much for that Holly, I really appreciate it. Um, and the other thing is, I received a sticker from my very good friend, Ron Radliff. And as you can see, it says on there, Carl has my sticker, this is my other sticker. And, I mean, every expense spared of producing that, but it, it will go on the wall, Ron. Okay, it was a while ago you sent it to me, but um, I must be honest, I was... Um, so impressed by it, I didn't know what to do with it. Okay, well, thanks both to Holly and Ron. I uh, really appreciate that. So, as I keep saying, and it doesn't happen, without further ado, we'll make this homemade branding iron. Okay, so this, this is the basic bits of kit that I'll be using. It's a, a small piece of ash, which I'm going to be using to make the handle. A piece of M6 threaded rod, or all, all thread as they call it in the States. Uh, two drill bits, a 6mm, to accept this into the handle, and I'll be epoxying that into the handle. Um, a 5.3mm bit, which I will be drilling the hole into the little billet of um, brass rod. This is a brass rod I got off eBay. This will form the part, the, the actual branding iron. So the 5.3mm bit to drill the hole there to accept the, um, the tap to thread the brass to accept the other end of the threaded rod. A pair of mold grips which I'll be using to hold the billet when I'm actually drilling the hole. I'll be using the drill press. You could use a hand drill if you wish, but you just have to be a bit um, a bit careful how you actually secure it. A hammer just to get a, a, a centre punch, uh, to, to use the centre punch to get the drill bit started in the brass. And some, uh, I've just got some 3 in one oil, oil here just to lubricate while I'm drilling the brass and also when I'm tapping the thread. And also I'll be using a, uh, a, an angle grinder just to cut the correct size off the brass rod. Okay, now I've got the bullet in a set of mould grips and I'm just going to clean up the cut edge on the... Okay, so that's done now. That, that's, that's all I'm not bothered about because that isn't going to be the face. This is going to be the face that's fairly, fairly flat, which is great, but a lot of it is going to be taken away to expose the lettering. Okay, so on to the next stage. So I've made a, um, a centre punch hole there, just to guide the bit, the 5.3mm drill bit in the drill press, set of mould grips holding the billet, and then just drill, and I've got some oil on there as well, just hold this. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a bit of oil in the in the hole, and we'll start to hopefully, as I explained, I am not a metal worker. The important thing is to keep it as upright as possible in the initial stages, nice and slow until the taper goes in and it starts to cut the threads. I 
just gave it a I just gave it a quick blast out with the um, the airline just to get any swarf or anything out of there. No check that the threaded rod goes in there, which it does. That's okay. So I'll screw that down now and uh, go on to the next stage. Now the idea is to draw what I want with a sharpie. actually on unfortunately when I did this it's merely a cleaning up operation what I've done um, I've just put this into my uh, small gripper jaws and just at about 500 revs put my flat sanding board against it just to flatten off the surface as much as possible um, and we're ready now to turn the handle and hopefully watch it work um, the of the camera pick it up there the inside is not very pretty at all because I've used every method known to man I think with the Dremel um, <clears throat> it would be easier if I had uh, circular parts to my initials but I haven't um, and that's just MW as I say uh, the outside bits aren't so bad because they're um, easy to get to as long as you've got the metal raised from the main body then it should work now I'm not going to try it out until I put the handle on it, because I'm that confident. So we'll turn the handle now, and um, it won't be long before it's finished. Just clean that little bit up at the bottom there, then the threaded rod, I'll epoxy that into the handle, and the stamp is done. Okay, I think that's about hot enough. I've been heating it up for about a minute now, and I've got a groove there to let me know which is the right way. Turn this off, and let's see. Oh. 
quite there. Yeah, that's a better one. And there's the mark. M W. So it works. Well, I hope some of you found that of interest. The branding iron made in the workshop. Huge thanks again to Jimmy Porter from Stuart Arts for giving me the inspiration for this video. Um, as I say, I'll put links to Jimmy's channel in the description below. These sort of things, obviously, once you've done them, you think, I might do this, might do that instead next time, if there is a next time indeed. Uh, if anything, the main thing I think I would make the, um, the raised uh, MW a little bit thinner. Um, and a bit more defined but uh, I'm quite happy with it. One thing to note if you are using sort of letters like Jimmy's, JP, whatever or numbers make sure that you etch them or you, you grind them into there in reverse because you're putting the um, branding iron onto your piece it'll be back to front if you don't put it on there in reverse and another little um, guide as well I put a little slot there so I know which is the right way uh, because the M is slightly different than the W uh, and again you can do that to give you some guidance make sure that you're putting it into the piece the right way up well okay well thanks very much indeed for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon cheers now